Hey everyone, what's going on? Dave Kentner here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about changing a, a PNG file format to an SVG file format, and this time I'm going to talk about how you can do it on your own if you have some technical skills. There are some free options and paid options, so I just want to show you what they are and how you can actually utilize some of these to start your business, maybe without having to pay someone on Fiverr or a designer to do it for you. So let me switch over to, you, to the screen here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first thing I want to talk about here is Adobe Express. In one of the comments in my last video of, of moving a PNG file to an SVG file, someone was saying, hey, we use Adobe Express and uh, we use a free version and it's working really good. It's saving some money than having to pay someone on Fiverr. And I said, okay, that's great. That is true. But let me record a video to show you what comes, what happens with that and how you want to make sure that the file is, is going to be what you want it to be, the quality, in order to sell it to a customer. All right, so it's really easy here. If you just go to express.adobe.com, it'll take you to a page probably where it's gonna say to connect to your account or create an account. I already did, I already have an account, but just easily, so it's a free access, free account setup, and it'll just tie to either uh, either your email and a password, or you can connect it right to your Google account. Either way works, but once you get into your account, you have a you know have, have free access, you come in here and you see down below it says take, take quick action. And uh, you can click, either click on image here to go through the actions or you can do view all here. Uh, view all will show you all the stuff you can do with your photos. In the very bottom here, it says convert to SVG. So I'm gonna click on that, convert to SVG. And then you have to just you know find the image. So you can either find it or just browse. I'm just gonna, I have it right here. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna move it over there. But first I'm gonna show you, you know, how to get that file because here in one of the prior video trainings I showed you, I created this one cross plus three nails equals four given. It was an Easter design. And uh, this design here, the way I downloaded it before is I came over here to share, download, and I wanted to do a P in a PNG format, but I did it with a transparent background. Now, if you're gonna do this the way I'm showing you how to do it here, you're gonna wanna do it without a transparent background. All right, let me show you both, because if I would do it with a transparent background, let me show you what happens. So I'm gonna do it for this page here. Let's download it. That's gonna do there to the transparent. And I already did a few tests here before, so that's gonna be the one, okay? And now I'm gonna do it again, but this time, I am going to download it as without the transparent. All right, so same thing, download, and this is gonna probably be the new designs with a two right there. There it is, okay? I'm gonna show you the difference. So first, let's convert them both and, and see what happens. All right, so I have my thing scanning, making sure that everything's safe, no viruses are on it. So I come back here to Adobe Express. All right, so now, I'm going to bring in the one that has a transparent background. So this one is design one, I'm gonna put it in there and it's going to do its magic. So Adobe Express, depending on how complicated your file is, it could take anywhere to a few seconds to you know uh, more than a minute or so. It really depends, because it's gonna start vectoring out your design and make it so it is the way it needs to be for someone that's gonna be using a Cricut design or silhouette that they're gonna be printing it themselves. So there we go, so we have it. Now, notice what happened. Because this was the transparent background, it is not the way we want it. You can't see the entire design, it's on this black background, and you can't even see the, my writing that I put in there, all right? So I'm not gonna download that because I wanna show you, show you what happens. If that happens to you, then that's because you're using a transparent PNG and you wanna use it where there's a, an image I'm putting in there that is not transparent. So I'm gonna close it out, and this time I'm gonna do it again. And so I'm gonna do view all, convert to SVG. This time I'm gonna use the design number two, which is the one that was not on a transparent background. So if you remember when I came over here, I did the download with not clicking this. All right, it's very important that you're doing this conversion here, not using a transparent background, all right? Uh, otherwise you'll get that black screen. So let's see, it's going here doing its magic. And this time when it, it's done, it should look like our design, but in an SVG format. So we're just waiting for it to come through and there you go. So this time now notice it is correct, all right? And it looks good, it looks the way you know that we had it over here, I don't notice any difference. Now, there are some times where you are actually using Adobe Express here, this free tool to convert it over, and it, if you have a very difficult design, more complex, it might not do the vectors correctly. In fact, let me see if that bottom of the three is, no, that's the way it had it. Okay, sometimes you might notice a little bit of, 
of the of the image missing, and then it's not going to work for you. You're going to have to you know do it through another way. Uh, I'll show you here in a second how to do a more complex way. Or again, you have a you can pay someone to do it. So this is ready. So I'm going to download it, and it's going to be here to new designs, and it's going to be two dot sv uh, the svg design. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move over my Cricut design space software, and we're going to test it out as we should always do to make sure it works. So I'm going to come in here and we are going to uh, just make sure you go to home and we're going to upload a new design. So I'm going to come in here to canvas and down below, okay, I'm going to start a new design. I'll put upload and we're going to upload that image. So let me actually close this one out because that's, that's an old one there. Let me see, can I remove it? There we go. I'm going to delete that so you know we're doing something new. So I'm going to bring in the design that we just did, and that was this one right here. So it's dot, you know, it's underscore Adobe Express. Just did it right there. So we bring that one in, and when this one comes in, it should look the way we want. So it does. Now, here's the difference. When someone, if you were going to sell it like this, it's not going to be with a transparent background. All right, the people that are buying it, uh, they might not be happy with this because some people don't know how to get rid of that background. All right, you could do it, and you could do it here through Cricut, but you need to have to pay for their services. You can't do it through the free Cricut software. That's what I have. Um, I don't pay for the subscription. I don't have Cricut machine, so I don't pay for it. But if you had a paid access to it, you could actually then remove this very easily. So you could try to sell it like this, and people who are using Cricut, they should have, they should be able to get rid of that. But do understand that if you sell your SVG like this, it is possible that you might have some complaints. So I just want you to be aware of that. So the way you could fix this is pay for the Cricut software, their access, and I'm not sure how much it is offhand, but uh, then you would have a tool that you can actually remove this background. It's very easy to do if you had that. All right, so that is one option in order not to pay for the SVG with someone else. Uh, another option is to go to Adobe Illustrator, but it's not a free option. Uh, with this one here, you see that you're paying you know, $20.99 a month. Uh, you can do it through a free trial, but uh, you would have to cancel it if you didn't want to pay for it after free, you know, before the free trial is up. Uh, this is, you know, you could do it this way. You uh, you can save money if you're going to be doing a lot of them. Again, you have to manually do it yourself. And uh, I always say, make sure you know you understand what how much it's taking you time-wise to do something compared to paying someone else to do it for you. So if you're trying to do the technical sides of this business, it might be beneficial to you. Your time might be better well spent creating things and having other people do these easier tasks that might be harder for you than to try to do it yourself. Totally up to you. You know, In the beginning, you might need to be saving some money. You might need to go through some of these things, you know, use Adobe Express to actually you know, make it done yourself before, and, and maybe not, not perfectly, right? If you're, not, if you're doing it through Adobe Express and you still have it where it's not on that transparent background, like this one is here, you, know, you might be able to get away with it for some time. Uh, but anyway, I just want to let you know the options. So there is options to do it yourself. But uh, again, you know, kind of weigh it against your time because your time's money, all right? But it, I do understand, you know, as we're all starting out here, you know, paying $5 to have someone do each image, you know, or even if you're doing 50 for $100, I mean, that's $100. So um, I understand that you know, maybe you need to do some things um, without having to pay someone else to do it for you. So. I wanted to show you the options in this video, Adobe Express, how you can do that. It would come up like this without the, without the, the background removed, you know, or you can pay for their service. And like I said, I'm not sure you'd have to go in here to find out what it is to, to pay for uh, their access. And uh, I don't think it's that much, but even still, like I said, you'd still have to pay something. So weigh this, weigh this as far as you know what's going to work for you, and uh, you know you make your best decision of, of what is going to be best for you and your business. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please put that thumbs up, like my video, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Then you'll get notified as long as you click that bell button to know that uh, my new video is going to be coming out. As I will continue to put out 
information that is going to help you guys out. And if you have comments, please put them down below. The reason why I recorded this video is because I actually had a comment from one of my, one of my videos and someone said they were using Adobe Express. And I said, yeah, you could, but let me, let me record a video and show you, you know, making sure that you are covering some of these things. So in the description below, I will put some information in there. So you have a link to Adobe Express. You have a link to uh, Adobe Illustrator if you're interested in that. And uh, also if you are looking for help and being able to learn how to run your Etsy store, from A to Z and to be able to push that all the way to Amazon, whether it be POD or even private label business, I cover all that in my Etsy Profits Generator course. So if you're interested in that, please check that out. And uh, otherwise, you know, I look forward to catching you in uh, my other free trainings that I'm gonna be putting out here on my channel. So with that said, you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you may be in the world, and I'll catch you in my next video. Until then, take care.